Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about Sutton Sign Writing. Today, the Sutton Sign Writing Core Part 2. We're going to cover sign writing with style. Please, as ever, go ahead and join on the Sutton Sign Writing community on Gitter for our open chat. Here are the websites that we're going to be looking at and going over. Let's get started. First, the code is available on GitHub, Sutton Sign Writing Core. Um, let's scroll down and see what we have. It has the source and all the instructions for building. But this is what we are talking about, the Sutton Sign Writing Core. 151 downloads a month, really nice. Specifically, we're going to talk about the style module within the core package. And again, that follows the regular expression object parse function and compose function, the same as the other modules. Um, useful links. There is a source code on GitHub. We have the distribution, which I'll be showing you how to use in the browser. Uh, we have documentation, excellent use for referencing all of the functions. Uh, in the browser, we're going to be using just the plain JS extension, and that is the universal module definition. Uh, last time we installed with NPM, but we're not going to install this time. Last time we used a node, but we're not going to use it in node this time. We're going to use it in the browser. Rather than having local files that we need to download, we're going to use the distribution from unpackage. And we have this one statement right here. And we can place this in any HTML page that we want, and we can use our library. Let's see. Now, un, if you go to unpackage, you can see that we still have our source directory, but we also have the uh, converted files and functions that are available. You can check this out. You can link to it directly. If you just wanted to use style by itself, rather than including the whole package, you could just grab the style.minjai js and that is only 3.44 kilobytes. We have excellent documentation available. Specifically, we're going to be doing the style module. And we're going to get into the regular, regular expressions, the parse function, and the compose function. All right, let's take a look at the style before we get started. Um, this is just uh, steveslavinsky.me slash demo slash fsw.html. So let's just look at a simple style string. The simplest style that I like to use is dash capital C. And if you noticed, that first sign right here, that sign is actually having the style applied. So we're going to make it colorized. We can't really see it. So let's do a Z4 for zoom 4. There we go. Uh, I can't really see the strings up here, so let's make this bigger. We'll get rid of all the rest of the text. We'll make this page bigger. And here is our style string. We have dash C for colorize and dash Z4. And that is zoom 4. Now, the style string is very peculiar about the order. So let's take a deeper look. This is a simple web page that I made. Doesn't do anything ready um, yet right now. So let's go and edit the HTML file. It's a simple HTML file. We just uh, have a title. I made up this one function just to print, just to make things easier. And here's our script that just calls that print function. First thing we need is that script tag that we copied, so we can just paste that in there. And now we're ready to use our library. Let's see what we have. The first thing, we'll just see if we have our regular expressions. So we are going to pass that the Sutton Sign Writing Core Style Regular Expressions. Save that. And we run that. We get all of our regular expressions for colorize, for the hex color, color names, padding, zoom, and on and on. So 
Let's go ahead and set up a variable. A little bigger maybe. We're going to set up a variable style, and we're going to make that equal to we had that dash C Z four for colorize and zoom four. Now, if we're going to print, we can just say uh, style. And we'll pass in the style. And then we'll have our object equals Sutton sign writing core style parse. We can send it that style string. And then we're going to print our object, which is just simple OBJ. All right, let's see what that did. Refresh our page down here, our style of dash CZ4, and the object we get out says colorize true zoom 4. All of the options are in the documentation. We'll get there in a second. Let's take away this print. Now we can also give it a background of yellow. Let's see what that looks like. And you can see our object, once we parse our style, our object starts filling out more. Colorize true, background yellow, zoom four. Let's go to the documentation and we will look at the compose function. Now the compose function does the opposite. It takes an object and it returns a string. So let's check that out real quick. Let's see, we're gonna have our new style equals Sutton Sign Writing Core uh, style.compose and we'll give it the object. Let's save that. Yeah. New style. Let's print it. There we go. We start with the style string, we parse it to get our object, and then we take that object and we compose it back into our style string. Now the, we started and ended both with the same style string, but let's actually update our object. Right here, we're gonna say object dot padding. That just takes a number. Now let's see what happens when we refresh. We start with the style string, we parse it to an object, we take that object, we add the background. No, I'm sorry, we add the padding. And we added the padding of 10. Let's actually take a look at our new object too, one more time. So our object starts like this, colorize background and zoom. We added the padding of 10 and when we take that object and compose it, we get our new style. Let's go ahead and copy that. And we'll just put it at the background there. And you can see this is our style. So that is sign writing with style. The Sutton Sign Writing Core Part 2, where we covered the style for regular expressions, parsing, and composing. I hope this was informative. And we'll... See you again.